20 pounds from Minneapolis, Minnesota, Vern Gagne. His opponent weighing 280 pounds from Salt Lake City, Utah, Don Leo Jonathan. The referee, Joel Jaswick. Two out of three falls, 60 minute time limit. Oh, hey, old still fellas. But uh, <laughs> this is Russ Davis, Ringside International Amphitheater. And uh, this is a bout that a lot of you folks have wanted to see. According to the fan mail that promoter Fred Kohler has received from you. Don Leo Jonathan on the left. Vern Gagne on the right. Two out of three falls, 60 minute uh, time limit. And this one can be an old roughie. It's Don Leo Jonathan, you know, a pretty hard one to control, but in Joe Jeswick, he's got a look out now. I started to say in Joe Jeswick, Vern is wearing his TV championship belt, United States champion. Who are you trying to scare, Junior? Come on, settle down, wrestle. Somebody touch somebody. <coughs> Jonathan is a big one. Burns got his hands full with him, and he knows it. Trying to get him to lose his temper. Because if anything Jonathan can't take is being made to look ridiculous by not getting a hold of an opponent. Well, that'll help him out. Falling arm, falling arm lock, and he's right out from under in a hurry. Question is, uh, how does Vern get out of this one? Jonathan wants no part of those feet as long as they're pointed at him. Ah, there he made his feet. Into a corner, hard lick in the tummy. Good for him. And Jonathan got out of the way. Lock, Japanese. Jonathan uses a lot of savat. In other words, his feet. I 
something is going on here. I can't quite figure out what it is. What's he doing in there anyway? His mouth's bloodied up a little bit. I don't know why he should start gouging. Ooh, boy, did Vern put that one on him. It's a wicked leg scissors that he has. Burns going after this weak elbow of Jonathan's. He has a figure forward wrist lock there. Count of two on Vern. I have to break it up, Jonathan. They cut you pulling hair that time. No, 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 no. Let the man get to his feet, says the rules. in a headlock using a reversed head press didn't make it knee drop simple maneuver. Just sit on your opponent until you mash the daylights out of him. Now wait a minute, Jonathan. Uh, we'll take your spurs off of you. Charlie Horson is what he's doing with his heels. make it that way. He doesn't care though because if he can do enough of that he generally contrives to weaken a guy.
form a chokehold here. The crowd doesn't like, and Jeswick didn't like it either. He's breaking it up. The knee drop is legal, but using the ropes is what he doesn't like. Up. I was just wondering what was going on in there. It's eye gouging of a kind. crowding right up into the corner. Ooh. With all of his weight, and it's close to 300, that could be bad. Vern, in the meantime, is getting himself a little bit collected. <laughs> boy, oh boy, that was a leg. This is in payment for all the eye gouging. Hey, he's getting some distance out of it. Oh, and did he clip Vern as he went by? Big one is rough. There's more of the same. Who's a king size body slam? One, two. on Vern again. Onto the ropes of Jonathan. Ooh, and a reverse backflip. It was a dilly. Here goes the sleeper hole. Let's see what Jonathan can do about it. Vern's got it on him. Flipping around there trying to get out. The wicked one. It. He's got it. And so Vern Gunn has got the first fall at any rate from Don Leo Jonathan. Well, that's an awful lot of big man to be laid out as cold as he's laid out. Eddie Blake will make it official here for us in a minute. The time. 14 minutes and 12 seconds. The winner with a sleeper hole, Vern Gagne of the first floor. So there you have it, uh, Vern Gagne in the first fall over this big lad here, Don Leo Jonathan. I'll be back in a minute. We've got to hear from the boss. Get on your feet, big boy. Now we're ready to go on with the second fall in this here now wrestling match. Come on, you can make it. Chin up. You know, all that. Steady. It's a long way up off the ground there. 
This sleeper hole really lays guys out. I don't care who they are or how big. There's a 10 second whistle. There's the bell and we're off and going. There was such a big loud yell there you could hardly hear it. really mad at him for all of that gouging that went on way back there. <coughs> Pardon me. Quit carrying that arm around like you were expecting somebody to grab it. Or hit you in the face over it. Jonathan's still stalling for time here, trying to get his thinking processes with him. Burns has got that sleeper hold again. Brother Jonathan is not staying with us. Not for long. Oh, he wasn't choking you. Fred Kohler, come in here and see you, John. Oh, now let's not have this routine about I'll go home and get my big brother. Hammerlock. Smart boy, you want to try again, huh? Well, thank you. Well, how many times are you counting, Jesuit? Still hanging on to his headlock here. He's not about to give it up. Ooh, right down across the Adams apple that one landed. As long as it's chin press, it's okay, but uh when you get down around the Adams apple, uh, I'd say you were choking, laddie. <laughs> now, 
Well, he caught him choking that time, so he'll have to break it up. Well, Vern went in under there and got that hammer lock. Cute, didn't he? But look at that guy, Jonathan, come out from under those ropes. Those falling arm locks just take up the whole ring with this guy. Uh oh, there's a head scissors on Gene. I mean, Vern. I don't know why I said Gene. Headlock and that knee drop the way Leo makes it. Good for your thinking processes, believe me. It's legal. Flying there. Whip right into the corner there. I thought Vern was going to take the rope down that time the way he hit. Ooh. Well, there's Don Leo Jonathan's backbreaker. It's his own version of it. Come on, break it up. He just kicked Vern clear out in the audience that trip, right down with the customers. Crane man gathered around here. This week says, You have been a bad, bad boy. The backbreaker's bad enough, but to throw Vern out of the ring makes it even worse. Well, there you have it, dear friends and gentle people. Uh, it's a fall of peace. I'll be back in a few seconds. Well, dear friends and gentle people, this is the third and deciding fall. Burns got to get into the ring here sometime soon. The reason for all this cautiousness here was that Jonathan was not going to let him in the ring. I guess we've gone over to the far side to shoo him back in his corner. Hold steady, fellas. Burns will make it. Now we're in business and legal. We got Vern back in the ring. There's the 10 second whistle. This is the third and deciding fall. Just know this much about Vern Gagne. This guy recuperates very fast. Nothing that Jonathan would rather do than beat him. He's got him in a waist lock. Burns hurt, there's no doubt of that. No, well, get up out of there, Jonathan. Burns got to get his... Jonathan! 
Hey, 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 Buster. Jesuit's not going to take much more of this off of you. <laughs> he must have hit him an awful lick to knock this big one down. He really did. Question is, can Vern get on his feet to get over here to make a pin? He's got the guy so laid out. Maybe he won. Nope. We missed him. Vern getting a little road work here, trying to get his various lumbar and lumbi limbered up. Oh, one man. Oh, <laughs> did he hit him? The run under wrist lock. Not going to give him any quarter here. He was going to keep it up. Come on up. We're staying out of reach of those long arms now. Ooh. One, two. Not quite. Maybe another one will do it. One, two. Oh, give him another one, Vern. Just for fun. Says me. Ooh. Look out here. One, two. Jonathan hit himself on the head there as he went to Vern that trip. Imagine it kind of got him out of focus a little bit. Ooh, what an ugly knee lift. Jonathan went down on his knees, hanging onto it like it's hurting. There's a sleeper hole, but he still got sense enough to get out from under. Nothing in Texas rules says you can't do it. As long as your shoe doesn't touch the guy, but Jonathan doesn't draw the line too far. Take down by the hair, that doesn't count. under again. guy Jonathan has is tremendous there's a knee lift right into Vern's face now Jonathan good pouring him around the Adam's apple uh oh there he is on that bad knee again drop kick 
Another one. Maybe. Boy, the strength this big guy has. Headlock and a side bear on Vern. Vern just went over backwards with him and let him hit. Now then, the question is, who comes to first? Boy, this is a perfect pin. Put a press on him, Vern, so the man can start counting. One, two, three, and it has happened. We'll get it all made official for you here in just a second or so. Maybe we won't even have time, I don't know. Vern Gagne is the winner of the match, though. Here's Eddie Flick. The time, seven minutes and 55 seconds. The winner of the third and deciding fall, Vern Gagne. That's it. Hope you liked it. <laughs>